Republicans and conservatives are coming under social, personal discrimination. What did Daniel Greenfield talk about here tonight? Well, I've been a, a fan of Daniel Greenfield's for a long time. One of the things I think he brings to this argument is just the forth, forcefulness of his intellect and uh, the fearlessness also because he is a fearless writer. So he's, I've been a big fan of his for a while. But uh, that aside, one of the things that I liked that he mentioned uh, that I thought was kind of an insight was that this is not a not simply a culture war, but that it's a religious war. It's a war between uh, sets of values, and the left certainly has its uh, its secular sets of values. Its its religion is politics, and and that's why this is such a vicious war. Uh, so that that's one of the insights that I think um, Daniel brought to this topic. That it's a, that leftism is like a religion. Yeah. That is like a religion, and this is why they're so um, fanatical about it, and, and why they're so because they're fervent believers, they're true believers in the utopianism of their their uh, collectivist vision. Is there discrimination today against conservatives or Republicans or people who uh, don't express scorn for the president? Oh sure, I mean you can see it on social media platforms, you can see it uh, in in the workplace, on college campuses. Uh, even on the streets when uh, people wearing Make America Great Again hats are, are physically attacked in restaurants or uh, just out in public. So yeah, there, there is, uh, it's discrimination that is, uh, that's extending into violence. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'd say it's more than discrimination. I, I think it's becoming, uh, it, I, I think it's becoming rabidly violent. Does it go both ways? Do you find it from Republicans towards the progressives or liberals? I think there are definitely strong feelings on both sides, but you don't see, and there are extremes on both sides, but you don't see coming from the right, you don't see that sort of open violence, you don't see uh, the, the open discrimination, you certainly don't see it on college campuses which are utterly dominated by the left. Uh, you don't see it in, in, in the news media, which is also dominated by the left. Um, so I, I, there, I, I don't think you see that, uh, I don't think you can see that degree of, of discrimination from the right because the left basically owns the culture. So they're the ones that are empowered enough to discriminate. The right doesn't really have that power. The left owns the entertainment arena, the left owns uh, academia and the mainstream media. So uh, I think the right isn't in a position to discriminate even if they wanted to. <laughs>